Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this super juicy butterfly chicken. You're going to start by combining all your spices. Here I have some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, bouillon cube, pepper and paprika. Go ahead and mix this up and set aside. In a separate bowl, add some butter. Add about one and a half teaspoon of the mixed spices, then mix to combine. And it helps if your butter is room temperature and soft, so it's easier to mix. After mixing, set aside and then we're gonna get started on the chicken. Wash the chicken properly and after washing, you're going to go ahead and butterfly the chicken. To do this, use a kitchen scissors to cut about an inch of the back. I usually save the back in the freezer and when I have enough, I'll use it to make some really good chicken stock. After taking that off, I'm going to give the chicken another rinse. Next, loosen the skin of the chicken using the back of a spoon. You want to be careful when doing this so you don't leave holes in the skin. After doing that, add the spiced butter we mixed earlier. Put this all over the skin, including the thighs if you can. Gently massage and flatten the butter under the skin so it covers evenly. The spiced butter is gonna make the chicken extra juicy and flavorful. When that's done, flip the chicken to the other side and I'm going to add the previously mixed spices. Add a generous amount of the spices, making sure to cover every part of the chicken. Next, I'll add some oil and then I'll massage the spices and oil into the chicken. When you're done with the back, turn the chicken to the other side and repeat the same process. Make sure you get the spices on every part of the chicken including the wings and back of the thighs. When you're done with that, put the chicken in a large dish or baking tray and marinate in the fridge overnight. If you're in a hurry, you can marinate the chicken for just one hour, but I always recommend marinating it for longer. When you're ready to cook the chicken, add some cut potatoes. I'm using Irish or rosette potatoes for this. Also, add some carrots, some chopped red bell peppers, some chopped onions, scotch bonnet peppers, some minced garlic, and some fresh thyme. Also, add about one teaspoon of the spice mix. Mix this all together and then place the chicken on top. If you have any spice mix left, you can sprinkle it on top of the chicken like I did. I'll transfer this to the oven and I'm going to bake this for 40 minutes at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. When it's about halfway cooked, you can baste the chicken with the juices using a baster or using a spoon. After about 40 minutes, the chicken should be fully cooked. If you have a food thermometer, you can insert it at the thickest part of the tie and you know it's fully cooked when the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which is also about 74 degrees Celsius. Allow the chicken rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before serving. Let me know if you're going to try this. Please like, share and comment if you enjoyed watching this video. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already 
and if you already subscribed thanks for subscribing and i'll see you in the next one